Hello, fluffy people of the world. My name is Liquid Blitz, and welcome back to Bioshock Infinite. Elizabeth looking as sassy as ever in her bright blue dress. Mm. Okay, so this episode, we are going to the Comstock House, aka Emporia. Go to Comstock House. Comstock controls Songbird with songs. Go to Comstock House and find the song that controls Songbird. Okay. Yeah, so. We learned that at the end of the last episode that you can, or halfway through the last episode, that we can control Mr. Bird. Which clearly we need to do because he's a tough motherfucker. Found some money. Take it. I need salts if possible, Miss Elizabeth. Uh, oh, poor lady. Hang on, can I get over here? Nope. Okay. Right, so let's get my salts at the ready. Let's get you. Your crow's ready, and your octopus. I need to use more octopus this episode. Can you open this? It's a simple dual dial lock. My book said most fools keep the combination no more than 20 feet away. Let's hope we find one of those fools. Most fools. <laughs> okay. Well, you've got to be some fool to keep a password right there next to your thingamabob. So, we're, it's less than 20 feet, clearly. Is it over here? <laughs> uh, hang on. 0000453? Uh... Um, hang on, uh, sorry, my... Am I having a brain fart moment? There's no, there's no interactables here. Elizabeth, can you, can you help a brother out? Usually, when you learn some information, doesn't it pop up somewhere? Like just to confirm. Um. Well. Oh. Ah, right. So keen on lock picking and code breaking. You put a person in a cage, they develop an interest in such things. Good point. And I won't be locked up again. But... Um, that's the golden boy I was worried about. That's that's the bird we're after. There he is. Ooh, hello. Dude can break glass just by looking at it. Get your head down, Bucket! Jesus Christ. That was not a safe time to look. <laughs> Jesus. So are these golden boys linked to Songbird somehow? They must be, because that thing just hurt us. Elizabeth. The password was 0451. Hang on, can we, uh... Dude, that bird has to be the best, like, one of the coolest designs of, like, a big badass thing I've ever seen. Elizabeth, you promise me. I will stop him. No. Promise you what? That is an oath you cannot keep. But promise me that if it comes to it, you will not let him take me back. I'm not gonna choke you. It won't come to that. All right. I mean, she can always teleport to a different, like, universe. I mean, clearly she has more ability to get away than I do. But I'm not gonna strangle her. Jesus Christ. Ooh. Things seem to be coming to a head here. I, I, I have no memory whatsoever of, like, having that bird on our side. Hello. Tearing this place apart. Yes, they are. Is that the main mothership? It's a shame we're fighting the the Vox still. Whoa, 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 whoa! I, shot. I don't have anything. Don't worry about it. 
I can finish this entire- Whoa! I can finish this entire battle from here. Here you go! Thank you. Right, can I, um... Can I octopus? I know I can get out, but I just want to see if I can fight from in here. <laughs> can I octopus from here? That's it. Oh, no, I can't. Okay. No, shit, I can't. Uh, right, okay, let's get out of here. Oh, right, hang on. Sorry, I can do the strike. Boom! <laughs> Dude. Ah, oh, more salts, thank you. Oh, ho, ho. dude. Let's go for a ride. Jesus Christ, sorry if the camera's all over the place. Fucking hell. I'm trying to get up on that. Um, let's get your birds on the case. Ow! Fucking hell, man. Oh, fuck, right, okay, let's go for a ride. Goodbye. Is he- hang on, is this dude on my ass? Fuck! Right, okay, my camera is all over the place. The handyman can temporarily electrocute skylines, damaging anyone riding them. Right, in that case, I want to get off the skyline. Ow, 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 ow. Jesus, you little bastard, where is he? Fucking hell! Good fucking Jesus. I need to get some distance here. Open it! You bet! Can I get some uh I don't want to resort to the RPG if I can avoid it. Fucking hell, okay, the camera shake needs to stop here. I'm about to die for the first time ever. Jesus, back off, back off! This motherfucker is on my ass at all times. That's what I wanted. Medical gets quick, 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 quick. That's a, a handy little box right there. Right, what can I do against this guy? I can bird him, I can shock him, I can bronco, charge, octopus. I mean, not many salts. Fuck. Not many uh, vigors do a whole lot. Whoa! Right, if I can just get rid of all these little pesky bastards... I'll stand a much better chance against him. You know, let's... Whoa, 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 whoa. I need to just put some good old damage into this guy. Let's shoot the motherfucker. Okay, the camera... The camera when you're on the skylines. In case you're wondering why the fuck my... My aim is going all over the place. When you're on the, the sky hook thing, your camera gets forced re like it recenters by itself like every three feet. So when I'm going, I'm trying to look off to the side to like look down at the roof so I can jump onto the roof. But my camera yanks me back up center looking down the rail. Which is very, very awkward for controllers, because it means to jump on like a rooftop, I've got to like Yank my camera and click on something fast, otherwise my aim just re-centers back to the rail again, which is really weird. Anyway, let's try and kill the motherfucker. I'll just try and avoid. Hang on. Have some birds. Let me get down here. This is a large battlefield, actually. Um. Oh, right, okay. Shit. That's handy. I reckon the... Fuck me, the camera wobbled up. <laughs> I'm trying to shoot. E. Oh, good enough. Fuck it. I'm out of ammo, but it's fine. I reckon the best vigor to fight these fuckers. <laughs> oh shit. Shit, missed. <laughs> Oh, that was like the, the dude who fell from the Titanic when he hit the fan on the way down from falling off the ship. Anyway. Oh, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Right, someone needs to die. Where is he? Let's sky jump him. Fuck you! 
Uh, I tell you what, let's whirlwind him. Oh, oh yes. Uh, well, you know what? It helps having like a, an infinite box of medical kits and salts. I'll be honest. Uh, right, is anyone else here? Anyone else want to die? Oh, for fuck's sake! I was looking for. Okay. I was looking for some sort of turret or patron or something to help out. I didn't see the mosquito. Gee, I mean, fuck. Elizabeth's getting adept at these powers. You got so much stuff. Oil. Salts, medical kits. A water puddle. Um, and since the last episode I learned, the point of those is for the, sh like, shock jockey, basically. Um, that said... Like, I don't really see what the point is when I can just land Shock Jockey directly. Like, you know what I mean? The water puddle seems a bit superfluous. Right, anyway, um... Where are we going? <laughs> I've got plenty of shit to do and loot. I'm starting to think that the whole camera issue when I'm on the skyhook is actually not supposed to happen, though. As, uh, as odd as that sounds, it feels like a bug. Or like, I don't know, like it's designed for use with a controller rather than mouse and keyboard. It's just awkward the way that my aim moves itself. Hang on. See, it's not doing it now. You see, I can freely look around, but when I'm in the middle of a fight, my aim is getting yanked all over the place. Huh. Do you see what I mean about it's, it feeling like a bug? Because it's, it's absolutely working fine when I'm not in a fight. Oh, right, okay. Is this, uh... Ooh. Right. Oh, hairpin lock. That's a story one. Hmm. Well, anyway. Um, as I'm looting around, let's look at all the vigs and see what would work against handymen, because they seem fucking powerful. You can't, uh, possess them. Uh, Devil's Fiery thing, which I'm not even using, does seem pretty good. That's just raw damage. Crows, I'm not sure that does a damn thing against the handyman. Uh, Shock Jockey stuns them, so that's the best one. Bucking Bronco doesn't do anything. Uh, I don't want to charge them, because they'll just charge me back and kill my ass. Uh, octopus, water damage maybe, but not the tentacle, because that just, again, drags them to me. Um, and that new one is sort of useless against the big guys, because they're not firing bullets. Shock jockey it is. If she could give me some ammo, that'd be much appreciated. Where is this actually taking me? Harmony Lane? Oh, I bet we're going there. Right, okay, let's go to the other one. Ah, oh, this is what I was after. Cash! Speaking of, any more upgrades? Uh, Hailfire, Heater, Repeater... Oh, hang on. These must be new, except I thought I had every hand cannon. Uh, fucking hell, there's a lot of upgrades. Well, let's get every hand cannon thing. Boom. And there's no sniper things. Right, the hand cannon is fully upgraded. Um. Ooh, these are new things, right. Undertow boost, effective range times two. I'm guessing that's the water blast, so I'm probably going to go with that. Shock duration, that sounds fantastic. Um, I'm not too bothered about that That one. It's That's a very strange figure. Uh, so I want that, I want that, and that's it, okay. Uh, ooh, my money is, is disappearing fast. There we go, right, I'm pretty much, as Andrew Tate would say, a brokey bitch. I've got no money left. 
Any money for me, Elizabeth? Any tapage? There's got to be some tapes in that optional place. Do that thing just say, I appreciate a lady who appreciates value? <laughs> Alright. That sounds like a very old school thing to say. You know, is it actually worth buying ammo for the first time in this game? Because I'm out of hand cannon ammo. <laughs> Fuck it. Let's do it at least one time. Right, so... Enough grab acid. Do it. Done. Thank you for the decoy. Hang on, what did I just hear then? Oh, there's even more shit here. Oh. What is this? This building. Let's go to this one down here. Oh. Forgive me for taking my sweet time, but hey. Usually it only it gives you this hairpin lock well, option for story related lockpicks. At the shop, what you asked me to do. Let's not discuss it. No, what did that thing do to you? If he were to take me back. The bird. That's death, Mr. DeWitt. Or something so like it, I cannot tell the difference. I get it, but I'm still not going to kill you. Because even if you get captured again, I can always try to rescue you again. You know, video game characters these days are too quick to, to kill themselves and demand killing themselves, you know what I mean? Always so final. Is this optional? Th this, this seems pretty major to be optional. The founders will bleed. Well, yes, they will, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> right. Have some birds. Have some shock. Have an octopus. In fact... Nice and simple. I didn't take a single hit. I wonder if I've got to come this way eventually, because this seems like a pretty major place to be. Yeah, I think I've said it before I say it again, that there's definitely some weirdness with this game. Like how every time I launch the game, I'm getting... Seems like the Vox have chosen their favorite color. Red indeed. market district. There's no way this is all optional. Have I come, like, I, I'm trying to betray the arrow to go in all your optional directions, but this is way too major to be optional. Unless there's multiple ways to go. Let's do it. There you go. Let's... Search the place high and low. Jesus Christ, everything is on fire. You know, I've just I've just watched the entire Hunger Games series again in the last two days. And this is kind of reminding me of that all of a sudden, just rebellion against the arseholes in power. Surprisingly similar. Oh yes. Um you know what, I kind of want to try and max out two things. You know, I'm so close to maxing everything, I bet there is just enough in this game to max all three. In one playthrough. Nice. And I'm looking forward to it. Elizabeth, you see any lockpicks for me? Oh, there's got to be some tapes somewhere. There's got to be. Mm-hmm. Dude. 
the Vox Populi reclaim this place. Oh! Ah, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Right, okay. There's clearly multiple directions, I reckon. Understood. Well, let's go everywhere, fuck it. I'm here to see every tape, to collect every upgrade, to loot every purse, to upset Elizabeth as much as possible. Right, hang on. I guess we're there. Uh, the market is that direction. Market district. Um, so I'm guessing through there is through there. To Latest Labs. Ooh. And we're going over there. Okay, this is actually handy. Um, so we are in Emporia already. Ah, that's the rooftop where I was fighting. Gotcha, and I went around there. Oh, this is handy. Mmm. Okay. Well, we know where we're gonna go last. Um, can I hook a left here and backtrack through that bank? Uh, I don't think so. But that's fine. I wonder how fast you can speedrun this game. I'm thinking more and more these days about how slow I go. <laughs> I just like to drink in the atmosphere, you know what I mean? But at the same time, you could probably breeze through this shit fast as hell if you wanted to. Oh, right, I missed these maps. Um, right, okay, yeah. Well, let's go through the bank next. I wouldn't be surprised if you could knock this game out in less than an hour. Oh, probably faster. You can probably do this in like 20 minutes if you're really fast. It's locked. I'll give it a whirl. I wonder if there's going to be any, any like unique story moments by going one of these three directions. Memory Lane was on the left side through uh, through there. I wonder if there's going to be anything down there. Bank of the Prophet. A.K.A. the Prophet actually held everyone's money. First sign of a dictatorship is when one party has all the fucking cash. <laughs> That's a telltale sign that you're in a, a dictatorship. Dude, this is dark as shit, man. Any stuff? Hey, look, a lockpick. Oh, oh, you see, Elizabeth, you're fantastic. Be one of the best characters of any game ever. Just helpful, but really helpful. Uh, a pleasant, lovely person. Bank of the Prophet protect your, protects your family's future. Bullshit. Controls your family's future. Protect your hard-earned rewards. This is a very Mary Poppin-esque uh, look. Which actually fits the time period. Now I think about it. We need to get to Comstock House. Before. Oh, I know, I know. Let's head back outside. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm too busy drinking in atmosphere and shit. The rise of Columbia. A look back at opening day. Within and without, we see even we've seen those three before. Go back to like episode two or something. You want to see those? There's got to be something in here. I can smell it. Bank of the Prophet. But yeah, Mary Poppins, wasn't that... I mean, Dick Van Dyke and, uh, and what's face I don't know what year it was filmed, but I think it was set in, like, the, the 10s and the 20s, kind of like this game, basically. In fact, I wonder how much uh, inspiration from Mary Poppins and, and other similar time period pieces that they, uh, these developers took. Titanic, Mary Poppins. Is that it? I'm sure there would be something else in here. I'm actually surprised. So let's, let me just do a, a fucking sprint around. Right, oh, okay. 
I mean, plenty of loot, but I really figured that'd be some gear. Or an upgrade. Or a, a tape, especially. Alright. If I've missed anything, I apologize. Okay. Let's go. Dude, look how fast I'm running. Usain Bolt doesn't run this fast. <laughs> Book has got some fucking legs. Okay, down towards memory lane. Elizabeth. Ha sorry, memory lane. Harmony lane. Bullshit lane. Harmony, my ass. Drain, just in case I didn't know what that was. How you doing? Oh, she, she doesn't run away from your, my gun when she's actually interacting with the environment like she does when she's walking around. I'm getting a good proper look at her. <laughs> For once. Oh, oops. Da -da -da. Very cool dress. It's almost like velvet. Anyway, enough admiring her dress. Let's go on through to Photo Studio. You know, I would love to see... I would love to see, like, some reference to Sander Cohen. Even though that he exists in, like, 50 years time from this game. Maybe his grandfather was a... was a citizen of, uh, of, of Colombia. Photographer extraordinaire. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, motherfucker. No idea. Right, okay. Bosh. Bosh. And bosh. I need all of this. I'm guessing here that... Uh, I'm guessing there's not going to be any more upgrades until later on. Uh, I reckon all of them in this whole area are going to have the same shit, yeah. Here's some cash. Thank you. I need more. Welcome to the Circus of Values. Da -da -da -da. Right, anyway. I'm starting to... Jesus. You know you loot too much when you start to see, like, lockpicks when there are none. Let's get my birds at the ready. Booker Sniper! Ooh! Well, I mean, you ain't shit, bitch. Ow! Fucking hell, he's got a fast aim! Ooh! <laughs> oh, yes! That sniper ain't- these snipers ain't shit compared to me. There! That would- oh. Get slapped. Sniper, get down! Oh, can I actually just dodge the shots? No, I can't. Ow, okay. Uh, hang on. What's the max range of your shock jockey? Oh, it's infinite range! Oh my god. I did not realize that. Oh god, itchy nose. Fuck. Can I fill up my ammo? Yes, I can. Um, how do I get the hook option again? There. there that Let's jump up there. I tell you, this game cannot be fun for people with motion sickness. I don't have motion sickness issues, but even I'm like, Jesus Christ. Right. Any extra shit? Oh, oh, I see that. Dude, that black wisp there kind of looks like Sauron in the Hobbit movies. Nice guys, goose guys. Uh, can I? Do I have to hook my way down safely? Go on without me. 
Come with me, I need your lockpicking skills. And to steal some mail. You wanna take a look at this? Okay. Uh, where is this going? This is going back on myself. Stop. The Emporia Towers. There's gotta be an optional quest in this whole area. There has to be. Uh, exclusive shopping, luxurious living, ooh. This is gonna be interesting. After who? Have some birds, motherfucker! <laughs> get birded and get hooked. I'll, hey, I'll, I'm happy to have a boxing match. Bring it on. I could have been friends with all these Vox motherfuckers if they hadn't insisted on killing me. But now I'm, I've got to break their necks. Uh... What's the point of any of this? <laughs> Other than just extra detail in the environment? I've said it before, I'll say it again. The mark of a great game is having, like, not just optional side stuff, but places that have literally no purpose than, uh, other than to exist and just have detail in the environment. You know when developers put these areas into a game. Unless there is something here. And I'm just too stupid to see it. But yeah, when developers put time into just a- oh shit, ow! Into just a place with no purpose. It means they've put extra detail into the places with a purpose. Um... I got two lock- It costs lockpicks to get in here. And then I got two more lockpicks, but what's the point otherwise? Oh. Well, let's go. I am actually surprised I haven't seen any tapes yet. Oh, yes. There's got to be a tape somewhere in this whole town. I haven't seen one. Oh, we've got a shop. With no sign. Columbia. Oh, God, even the, t the townsfolk are dead. I mean, I, I like to take it that the Vox are killing these townsfolk. Is that what's happening to these people? It must... Uh, it must be the case. So these... These rebels are just killing civilians. That ain't cool. It's one thing to fight back against your oppressive soldiers and, and police and shit. It's another thing to kill just... Everyone. Like a bunch of evil bastards. Hang on, can I turn this off? Or I'm gonna get fucked on YouTube. Mm -hmm. No tapage. Any tapes down here? I won't rest until I find every tape. Yes, yes. More of your finest wine, James. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, more of your finest wine, how about die, bitch? Now I can drink all the wine and you know, listen to the tape. What a weird thing for them to, to be doing and saying during a rebellion, an active rebellion. I shall sample more of your delicious wine. After I've just killed all the innocent civilians up in the shop. I mean, they're not innocent, but you get the idea. I do. There's a tape over there. Anyway. That's Lady Comstock and that is some random old banker looking dude. Oh, oh, dude. Dude. No wonder she's looking so upset. Look at this little scene right here. So... I don't, did I kill this guy? 
Dude. She was, she, she was just playing an innocent game of cards. Hang on, what, what am I seeing there? The Chariot, the World, Strength. Are these tarot cards? If the one under is like stabbed in the back, that'll be that would be a hilarious little Easter egg there. Judgment, it says. That's kind of hilarious. Judgment, and she got a knife in the back. What does it say on the one in her back? I've got to say, I'm sorry, this is one of those moments I've just got to soak in the environmental storytelling. I can't see that one, sadly. Right, let's listen. I wonder if this is her, with a knife in her back. Ah, oh, no, it's Lady Comstock. Tonight, the Prophet moved against his political enemies. He preaches mercy, but 40 souls lie tonight dead in unmarked graves. If a man was ever unworthy of grace, who would be my husband? Hmm. But when I was beyond redemption, he offered it anyway. How can I deny forgiveness to, to one who with love granted it to me? Uh, talk about us, like what I perceive to be Stockholm Syndrome, just calling calling him a monster, but he saved her, so he can't be all that much of a monster, even though she's witnessing all this monster shit. That's the first sign of any, uh... First sign that she's not liking Comstock. Right, let's go. Right, before we go, uh, Comstock House is quite close in front of our left side here, but I want to go to that Latest place. There's got to be some more Latest tapes. There has to be. Elizabeth. Looks easy enough. We've learned a lot, a lot about the Latest twins, but Done. we don't know everything yet. Loot, 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 loot. Fucking hell, man! Jesus Christ. This is at, like actually pitch black. What the fuck? Oh, Elizabeth, you terrifying girl. Jesus. So he was literally hiding in a corner. A hoarder. Ooh. You see, what what's with these tutorials I get every time I launch the game? New shirt, Winter Shield. Jumping to or from a skyline grants brief and vulnerability. Mm, I'll take it. But that's, uh... That's a very good one. Cool. Right, anything else? In this pitch black motherfucker. Nope. Okay. I'll tell you what, once I'm about to leave this area, th this is a big enough area to warrant doing a once-over of everywhere that I will edit out. How's the city going to come back from this? It's not. Maybe this, it shouldn't. This city is done. Uh, literally, it's half of it's destroyed. Probably gonna fall out the sky. It's done. But yeah, once I'm ready to go to the Comstock house, I'll edit it down completely, but I'll do a massive once-over to search for tapes. I bet you I've missed something already. More executed motherfuckers. Downtown Emporia. I see the word confections. That means chocolates and candy and sweets and shit. Let's be smart about this. Dude. I love the combat of this game. You're mine, sir. <laughs> Oh, where are you? Here you go. 
Appreciate Thank you it. kindly. All oh, right, I see. I think you can only octopus in one direction, like vaguely. Ooh, get wrecked. I wish I had an angel for one moment of love. I wish I. Who the fuck is talking? Mm. I just feel so- this game is doing a fantastic job of making me feel powerful. Like I've got so much choice that I don't even need. Locked. Elizabeth? Seems easy enough. Do your thing. And then I'll do my thing and loot everywhere. Loot, 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 loot. New boots. Fit as a fiddle. When revived, recover full health. I think I've died once in this game. And it was because I was a moron. Right, any tapage? Yes, tapage. Oh, it's Comstock himself. In front of all the men, the sergeant looked at me and said, Your family tree shelters a TP or two, doesn't it, son? This lie! This calumny had followed me all my life. He sounds angry. That day, no man truly called me comrade. It was only when I burnt the teepees with the squaws inside that they take me as one of their own. Only blood can redeem blood. D did, did he straight up just tell me through the tape that he burned teepees with Native Americans inside? Is that what he just said? Um... Sh should I know already if Bucker has some Native American blood in him? Well, they're, they're, they've even started painting over people's faces. Dude, this is a disturbing fucking place. More and more Comstock is just sounding like an angry racist. Like, how the fuck did Comstock come from Bucker? Like, like, what happened to him to make him a completely wild racist, like, monster? I guess we'll learn, but it's weird. Because Booker, Booker seems like a jaded sort of person, like an ex-soldier, you know, he's got serious uh, social issues. Found some money. But in one in one universe, our our aged Booker became like friendly to the Vox Populi and like a hero of the people. Our Booker is jaded as shit, but he's still not like reveling in in hurting people. He's just a bit jaded from his past in the in the wars of America. You know what I mean? But com the Comstock version of Booker is just like complete a completely crazy, wild, racist fucking dictator. Like what the fuck? happened to him to make him like that. Something happened to him. I wish I had a flashlight, I really do. Cause I can't see shit. Mm -hmm -hmm. They've even put red tops over the statues, which makes them look cool, I'll admit. I wonder if they know that I killed no, Daisy Fitzroy, by the way. I keep thinking about that dream that you had. New York on fire. There's something about it. Mm, indeed. I never really questioned it. I just put it down to multiverse, shared thoughts and memories fuckery going on. I wonder if that's Comstock's, like, past. Something to do with burning New York, you know? Rather than Marta Booker that died for the Vox Populi. Right, can I jump up? No. Okay. Right, before we do, before we do. Oops. Right, what can we do here? What can we do here? Um, okay. Okay. <laughs> Map design for the win. 
Oh, hang on, I think there is some extra shit around somewhere. Let's get high on the vapors. Go ahead. There you go. Um, are these going anywhere? Sorry, this is. <laughs> I'm so indecisive. I guess it's just places to fight from, but I don't need any of them. Okay. Okay, what's under here? Ow. That's a weird space under the statue. Memorial Gardens. Ooh. Are we going to have a memorial to Lady Comstock? Oh, Elizabeth's running off. This is a story moment. I can feel it. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, no, ooh, 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 ooh. That seems very, very relevant to me. Uh, I reckon something was a bad. I reckon I was two millimeters from triggering something then. I'm going to run back and go to Latess House before I go to that. Because that was exactly where I'm supposed to be. Um. So you know what, let's jump cut and go all the way back around. I've gone back down the right side of the map and I've just realised that I don't think I went in this shop here. As Gandalf once said, I have no memory of this place. That means tapes and loot. And other assorted goodies. Oh. Locks, but oh shit, okay. man! Catch. Three lock picks in a bag. Don't mind if I do. Stuff and things. Is that the name of the shop? Stuff and things. All-purpose cleansing mixture in industrial and household sizes. Something about chickens. Okay. Pick up the bug. What? I wonder where the cipher is. What? All oh, right. Oh, did I just get the second part of that quest done before the first part? I've already got the code. Now I need to find the actual puzzle itself. Well, you know, that's what happens when you're nice and thorough, eh? Okay, I reckon that code will be in Latessa's, uh, Latessa's place. You know, I swear to God, I know Elizabeth sometimes points out when there's a lockpick if you sit still long enough, but I reckon sometimes she just runs and stands near them, <laughs> like a little hint. Anyway. Let's get to Latessa's house. So she had her own entire fucking house. Or like, laboratory. Okay, right, here we go. New ground. There's a lot of roses around. Oh! Birds, motherfucker! Oh! There's a patriot! In- oh god, I just birded and then threw sheer high damage gunshots electrocuted all the innocents. I wanted- I tried to save them then, but I just ended up frying them all. Oh, I'm such a evil shit. Oh, I'm sorry. They'd have been better off if I let them just get shot. Let's kill this motherfucker. Let's take my frustrations at myself. Let's kill all the little bastards. I can't believe I just electrocuted and killed all those fuckers. The master fears nothing but the lash. Right, let's stun this guy and get his gear. <laughs> get geared, bitch. Right. What a horrific... That's the first time I've seen actual horrific shit in front of my eyes. 
you know, this game was released in 2012, I believe, and, uh, you know. Massac the Massacre of Civilians is quite a big deal for that time period. People were very s sensitive. Like in that moment in one of the Call of Duty games where you kill a bunch of civilians in the airport, there was like outroar over that shit. Um, I'm getting similar vibes here. I'm I wouldn't be surprised to learn that there was some backlash over the killing of civilians um, back when this game was new. And then I go and bird them and electrocute them just to make their just to make their death even more miserable <laughs> and painful. I'm an evil shit. Anything else? No. Okay. Elizabeth, watch out. Right. Okay. Let me just rifle- let me just loot the corpses of all these innocent civilians, eh? I'm already a murdering bastard, let's just loot them. After all, why would I let their stuff go to waste? Can you open this, Elizabeth? Okay. It's done. What do we have here? Box of chocolates, hey! Oh yes, no 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 no. Oh no 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 no. Oh fuck no, there's a lot of candy and shit, isn't there? Whoop. New shirt, drop cloth. Landing off a sky I need I need to shave. I know when I need to shave, because I've got an itchy fucking nose. <laughs> Jesus. <sighs> Movement speed, 50% faster for 5 seconds. You know what, that's not a bad, uh, little bit of clothing there. Hmm. Okay. Any lockpicks? Okay, this, this, this area of the game is super dark. I can barely see shit. Except when I'm outside. Ooh. How do you stand that? Found some money. How do you stand that smell? Was that cigarettes? <laughs> or did I just like shit myself? Is she looking at a lockpick? No, she's looking at uh, onions on sale for four dollars a pound. Four dollars a pound. Looks abandoned. Uh, is that this? Ooh, what's, what's this going? Uh, well, I kind of see nothing. Is that the Comstock house? Or was that the, the Latesse lab up there? Ooh, another shop. I'm assuming we're going to see that cipher sometime soon. Loot, 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 loot. More lockpicks. Dude, I'm pissing through lockpicks, but I've still got like 20. Your cucumbers, got your gherkins. Okay. Oh, hang on, here we go. Let's test uh, laboratory. Oh, there's a lot. There is a lockpick on there. I wonder if we're gonna come here after Comstock House. Understood. What about this? Yeah, there's no way we're not coming back here. I'm such a scrounging bastard. Just sucking up every bit of food on the floor. Right, well, we'd definitely come back here. This this seems too important to not come back here. Go ahead. Sure thing. 
What is the point of all these? Is it just for uh, just to have a place to fight from? Take your time. I'm fine down here. Did you see that? The camera was recentering itself. Yep. Well, I appreciate the view, but there's nothing to do up there. Ow. Now I need some of those apples that I've been munching on. Somebody comes with a very useful fact, by the way, that if you just stand still, lockpicks and things glint white. So if you just stand still and look, you can actually sometimes see them. If you're patient enough. And that's actually a good tactic. Birds, motherfucker! Oh, that was, uh, that was easier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Dude, multiple shots. Damn. Couldn't just put the gun to his head. No, he had to actually, he had to shoot himself in the chest of all places. Uh, the horror of this place is getting to me. Strange. Oh, that, that lockpick is strange. Right, here we go. Um, well, I can see me a floating building, but before we get to that, I'm worried she's going to start talking when she runs off like that. Mmm, I still haven't seen the cipher yet. <laughs> Let me just check every single literal corner of this town. <laughs> Oh, I'm a piece of shit. Right, okay. Here we go. Well, this seems uh, relevant somehow. Now, hang on. I can see... Oh, is there... 80s music sort of a tear? Yeah. Girls just want to have fun. I know that song. Um, that's, I think that's another, like, 70s, 80s song, isn't it? Cool. Dude, okay. Oh, it's, a, it's Fink. Finky boy himself, out of thin air, like decades ago. My dear brother, these holes in the thin air continue to pay dividends. I know not which music oh. you borrow your notes from, but if he has half the genius of the biologist I now observe, well, then you are to be the Mozart of Columbia. You know, that is actually interesting. That's for the first time I'm realizing these tears, they can see and get information and knowledge from the future. So I wonder, like, on a story level, how much that's dictating the ad the advancement of technology in this town. Like, they've got new shit. They're writing music with with future music as, like, uh, inspiration. Shit like that. Cool. It would explain why th this is 19, what is it, 12, and they, they seem so advanced. Oh, is this, uh... This guy's dressed up special compared to all the rest of the townsfolk. Is this Fink's brother? That was mentioning his brother, like. Well, very dapper, but it, it, it didn't save him. Albert Fink, that's his brother. Albert Fink's magical melodies. A division of Fink and... Right, so he did... He, he actually... Right, the story behind these red tears now. Fink's brother was writing music based on future shit. Oops. Turn it off. Very cool. And by the way, what the fuck is wrong with this building? Why is it floating down like this? Hmm, mm, is right. Hmm, indeed. Is the, uh... Technology that keeps this shit afloat fucked and broken. I mean, heads up below. Jesus Christ. Can I get down there? Hmm. Looks like.
like I might be able to actually get in there, but let's keep going. Oh, here we go. We're, we're back to the same place, but from a different angle. Okay. Girls just wanna have fun, and I don't want to have copyright issues. Okay. Wow, so let's once and for all see what these memorial gardens are about, eh? Well, this is just a straight up like fancy mausoleum, basically. I'm pretty sure I've come in from the completely other direction here. Um, but that's fine. I can see people here, which is worrying. These silver eagles might lose their value, but gold, gold always trades. Bella had some cavities. Before I, before all this, all this shit goes down. Let me just loot everything. <laughs> I'm sorry, it amuses me. Okay. Founder lies. Well, I wonder if this was the only way, and if I could have entered through that front door over here. Let's get your birds at the ready. I know you're there. Dude, I'm fizzling dead bodies. Dude, they were were they actively burying a motherfucker? Who's this? I don't know, but they stripped him of his pants. Now let me just Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say what the fuck when it comes to this person. What is this person? That looks like the Statue of Liberty, but it's a person. There's some weird shit going on here. I can feel it. Mm-hmm. Do it, do it, do it like that. Dude, this place is creepy. Let's get the fuck out. I want tapes and stuff, but Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Bruh. Just creepy. This looks like a bigger battle arena than it is, do you know what I mean? There's like medical kits and salts and shit. Are these like elite soldiers of the Vox Populi or something? What the fuck is with these weird angel looking people? I'm surprised actually there's like a tape or something. Horda Latessa. I understand the implications. Two graves, two empty graves for the Lattes twins. There's blood in one of them, and not in the other. Horder. Right, so that was a horder. That's not one of the Lattes twins. Bruh. Um. Okay, well, you got some gear in there. I wonder if this is, uh... Like, we'll, we're gonna get sent back here. Yeah, because there's all sorts of shit. Oh, it's Lady Comstock! That's actually her in the flesh. Shit, man. I'm surprised Elizabeth ain't talking. Damn, so she's... Right, there she is. Dead. Preserved, which is kind of weird. That is literally the Snow White coffin, by the way. In in the fairy tale, it's a glass coffin. 
So we are, we are getting some weird like imagery here. Okay, let's get the fuck out. We're gonna get sent back here, we must do. Hang on, do I have to run all the fucking way back? Oh, no, I don't. Okay. Another shop. Uh, solving the Irish problem, we've already seen that. More racism. Fancy putting those lock-picking skills to work? Oh, this won't take long at all. Ooh, someone's confident. Thank you. Right, we're back at- Fucking hell, how did I get 2,700 again? After being broke. I know I like to loot a lot of stuff, but Christ, that's a lot of money. Mm. Lock pick. Am I- can, uh, is my- oh, you can't change your FOV in the set- in the game settings, can you? I have to change it in the uh, main menu- uh, in the config file. I'm just starting to feel like I'm too zoomed in, like the the start of the game. Um, but it's fine. We'll just continue. Girls just wanna have fun. Right, okay, this is- we're finally back here again from a different angle. <laughs> we came from over that angle before. Okay, right. Some shit's about to go down, yeah. I can feel it. That's a statue of Lady Comstock, all right. Let me just loot every little nook and cranny first. Oh, there that. This is why. Money, money. Money. Right, okay. Thanks for being patient, Elizabeth. And you guys watching. You know, for these extended loot segments, I might well want to put some sort of disclaimer on the screen. <laughs> like, skip ahead if you don't want to see two and a half hours of looting. But there's, there's literally lockpicks around every fucking corner. You can't blame me. That gate lies Comstock house. Yes, it does. I mean, you got to give Comstock one thing. He might be a racist piece of shit, but uh, he's got style when it comes to city-based aesthetics and, like, uh, atmosphere. <laughs> this is one hell of a city. Just a shame it's run by arseholes. Right, let's listen to this. Who is that? Uh, Constance Field. This is for the miracle child. Hello. I'm sorry your mother, Lady Comstock, is dead. I think she is altogether better than mine. Since you live there, can you tell me why the tower has been closed? People say it's poor weather, then the pox, then a haunting. If it is a secret, I promise not to tell a soul. Your pen friend, Constance. Hmm, I wonder if uh, Constance and Elizabeth were like actual like pen pals, like conversing. Interesting. Okay, let's go. Creepy right, what's going on here? Now hang on. Clearly there's more shit I've missed, but I think we'll get back to it. Lady Comstock, how lovely to see you. Wonderful of you to make the journey, especially considering your painful death 19 years ago. What? Lady Comstock. The dress. I thought that dress looked familiar. I called it. I said it looked familiar, but... Your friends do not seem to be your own today, Lady Comstock. Are you unwell? This isn't going to work. Unwell. Your mother's dead, Elizabeth. Yes. I think it's time I paid my respects. Let's head to where she's buried. Where did she get this dress again? Wasn't this on the airship? 
She cut her hair and did all that shit on on the airship, I, I'm pretty sure. Called the First Lady. Strange place um, for her dress to be. I figured she'd be buried in it or something, but but yeah, I I had no idea that was actually her dress. I remember commenting that it looked like her dress with the colours, like blue and white. Turns out it is her dress. So we're, we're gonna go rob her grave now of her hand? Like, how the fuck are we gonna get her fingerprints? Okay, this is shaping up to be some grim shit right here. There's the graveyard, and my mother's buried. It is. Uh, you know, I'm half tempted to check out the Latesse place before we do this. Um, right, I'm going to jump cut back there, and if there's nothing there, I'll jump cut back again. Right, we're back again. There was absolutely nothing. We'll clearly be going there next. Right, let's rob her mother's grave and steal her hand. What are we looking for? I mean, we are literally going to get her hand, aren't we? Because that, that's the point. We need her fingerprint. There it is. Or I wonder if she's got some way of, like, um, putting a, a tear there and just literally putting her hand into the actual device itself through a tear. That'd be cool. Yeah, okay. So I came here prematurely, as always. I, I, yeah. It's strange that there's two graves for the Latess twins, but we know they're not dead. They're walking around and talking and shit. Hmm. Oh. Oh, okay. Cool. Go ahead. Did it. Right. That's crazy. It's your mother's grave. They have her preserved in an airtight chamber. Her fingerprints will get us into Comstock House. She's your mother. The mother who abandons their child doesn't draw a lot of sympathy in my book. I mean, think about what you're doing. There. Will you open the door or do I have to go in with her? I mean, we do need the fingerprints, Booker. Come on. Elizabeth is showing more balls than Booker now. So she's. That's an airtight container, so there's no decomposition, I guess. But that's. You know. I'm pretty sure your body would deteriorate even without any air. Right, let me just whip out my uh, blade. Slice the hand off. All locked up in there, huh? Looks like you and I have some common ground. Let me do it. No. Let me do it. That might be the thumbnail right there. <laughs> fucking. Okay. Sorry. I'm so ingrained in fucking. Well, at least she wasn't buried in that very dress, eh? You know what? She even kind of looks like Mary Poppins. I won't. I can't lie. Is there any resemblance? Like actual, like the hint that they use the same character model uh, when designing the faces. You see what I mean? Jesus Christ. Uh, kind of similar face shape. I've got to say. Anyway, right enough. Grab Asin. Oh, fuck. Songbird. Songbird. You see, child. You chose to follow a false shepherd, and he has led you astray. What I do, I do for love. What liars does not cringe to see their cup and pain, but spare the rod, spoil the child. What? What the fuck? Whoa, okay. Elizabeth? What the fuck is going on? Where did she go? Hold on, you need to rest for a minute. No, I'm getting that hand. Elizabeth? I agree, but. Is your mother a ghost? She's not. He. He used me to what the power fuck? that device. He opened up some kind of tear. What is going on here? Right, that wasn't just a ghost. That was her physical fucking body. It's gone. What the f- Okay. So this is the same siphon shit we saw in the tower. 
that was being used to, I was correct, siphon Elizabeth's power or some of it, um, keeping her weak or whatever, but... Hang on, what the fuck? So this entire mausoleum, this grave, had this siphon shit built in like it was always a trap to begin with? Oh my god, I do not remember this at all. We've got to fight her mother in ghost form. And then, like, cut her hand off. Defeat the ghost of Lady Comstock. Ow. You are the lie spewed from my... Oh my god. Fuck off. Let's get some distance on this motherfucker. On this scary ass bitch. Oh god, she even screams when he shoots her. Have some birds. What target is immune to murder crows? Is that her? All her minions aren't there. Jesus, it's a good thing I'm super powerful. <laughs> Let's just shoot her, shall we? Uh, I want to like charge her, hang on. Oh, in the face. Thank you. Let's use all my creative shit. Let's bronco some motherfuckers. Let's uh, hit some people with water. Hang on, let's back up here. Jesus Christ. I want to use as many weapons in my arsenal as possible. Jesus. What the fuck? Hey, as long as I can keep sniping her. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, right, okay, that explains it. These, these, uh... Whoa. Oh, that is creepy, dude. That is scary, man. <laughs> Seriously. Let's put some electric traps down and shit. Oh, I'm out of salts. Elizabeth, I need salts. Elizabeth. I know your mother's... Oh, there. Rockets over there. I know your mother's ghost is wandering around, but I need help. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Ow! You're mine, bitch. Whoa! Oh, she nearly... Oh, my God. Look how much damage she did. Dude. That is a cool design. Look at her. She screams like, um... She reminds me of Screaming Mantis from Metal Gear Solid 4. Screaming constantly. That is some creepy shit, bro. I need to keep sending birds out here. There's so many motherfuckers. Ow. Fuck off. Where is she, though? She's hard to see, actually. Let's stun her. Stun her. That's it, bitch. Motherfucker! What is she? I don't know. What am I? You're a human, but she ain't. Oh my god. She what the f Fuck. But what is she? Alive or dead? Why do you ask what? When the delicious question is when. Oh my god, they're in their graves. Between past and present. Is semantics. Lives, lived, will live. Dies, died, will die. If we could perceive time as it truly was. What reason would grammar professors have to get out of bed? Like us all. Lady Comstock exists across time. She's both alive and dead. She perceives being both. She finds this condition disagreeable. Perception without comprehension. It's a dangerous combination. Look! Footsteps. She goes to unfinished business. We have to follow her. Convince her to open the gate to Comstock House. What? <laughs> Just... What the fuck? 
it's just even even in the context of multiple universes and timelines and past present and future is all happening at the same time just infinite capacity forwards backwards every direction all possibilities are possible i still don't understand how it's possible that there's a actual ghost of a dead person like even in the crazy infinite capacity context of the many worlds theory it still doesn't make sense so yeah, that, that, that explains these motherfuckers. So her hand-picked, like, fucking ghost soldiers are all Statue of Liberty-looking motherfuckers. Bruh. Let's follow her footsteps. I'm guessing it goes, um... Optional. Find the fuck. Oh! Oh, right, I don't have a thing. Well... I don't know where the fuck that code is, by the way. Where did her footsteps go? They sort of vaguely went over here, didn't they? They didn't go back in here, did they? No. Okay. Is this still closed? Yes, it is. Um. I half expected this to be open, actually. Maybe we'll come back later. I didn't understand any of that conversation, other than they basically were saying that everything's possible. Her, her footsteps seem to, like, travel this way a little bit. Hmm. Oh. It's a shame you have need of her to enter Comstock House. Frankly, she doesn't seem all that cooperative. There is a way to bring her to reason. Three truths you must discover first. Truths which, in this world, Comstock has destroyed. If only one of you had the power to alter time and space. That would be a blessing, wouldn't it? Hmm. Well, Elizabeth can certainly do that. Find the three turns. They're sarcastic. I mean, can't they just tell me? <laughs> do, do, legit, do they have to be so cryptic? About Lady Comstock. Yeah. I noticed. No, you don't understand. She... she doesn't belong here. I brought something through. I'm just... I'm not so sure it was her. I'm trying to grasp something, but I'm, I'm grasping at straws, ironically. Uh, I, I'm trying to make some connection in my, in my brain space. <laughs> I'm failing. <laughs> I'm coming up empty. Uh, that is still locked, isn't it? Right, that'll that'll open later, I'm sure. Okay. I'm sure I'll find the cipher in one of these new places I've got to go. Oh, we've got some footsteps. I never did go up here, did I? Oh yes I did. Hmm. I don't even know what to think. Oh, I can't have a look. Yes, I can. Very nice. Hello. Oh, hello. Bruh. Sightseer, 34 out of 37. Well, where the fuck are these footsteps going? Because we're, we're not going here yet, are we? I don't- I don't have her hand yet. <laughs> hmm. Well, I guess then, if she's got- I mean, that answers that question. She's, like, not just a ghost, but like a reanimated corpse type deal, so... Now it makes sense that we can sort of get her hand, I guess. I mean... Who knows? I've already been everywhere, so I don't have to worry about finding optional loot and shit. Hmm. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, dude. Possessing the tough one is a great idea. <laughs> Now he's just rocketing all the motherfuckers. Thank you kindly. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> oh, I forgot they kill themselves afterwards. What did that just say on the screen? Did that say go to Lutes Labs? Blah 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 blah. I wonder if I should go there first before I go to wherever the hell this arrow is leading me. I'll go here first. Can you open this? Sure thing. Cunningham. Have your photo taken. Done. Okay. Uh, I guess I can go to any of these three tears in, in whatever order I want to. You shall, but first. <laughs> I've got looting to do. Mm-hmm. I'm guessing doing that is going to change this to a different version of the place, you know what I mean? It's going to switch world. So before I do that, got to loot everything. Am I hearing a pregnancy and a birth going on right now? Maybe not. It was quiet, but I thought I heard the distinct, unmistakable sounds of birth. <laughs> right, let's do this. You two are here. I took your funeral photo. Yes, and made an absolute hash of it. One doesn't expect a picture of one's cause. It's come across so lifelessly. So they died in one world. That explains the graves. What did you mean before when you said Lady Comstock didn't belong here? She's almost feral. It's like she's a reflection of. Um, I don't know. Fuck, I, I, if you don't know, Christ. This wasn't here before. Um, the customer's late. This is the owner of this place. That's insanity. What proof would you have that Mr. Fink would hurt the Lutesses? The Lutesses told me. The Lutesses? When? Yesterday. Yesterday morning. Rupert! They've been dead these seven days. Right, okay, so at least in one world, in one of the timelines, um, F Fink killed the Latest twins? Why? I guess we'll learn, but that's, that's a weird twist. I wasn't expecting that. Is this like a dark room? <laughs> a photography dark room? Okay. Okay. I'd very much like, uh... Oh, I can go multiple ways. Okay. Well, let's go through the start of this place. You know, it's it's going back to that feeling I had that the Latest twins are more involved in this story than... Than you are led to believe so far. So far, they're just kind of weird side characters, but clearly they're they are balls deep in what the hell is going on with this whole thing. <laughs> clearly. Does it make me weird that I'm more worried about missing that cipher and the optional loot <laughs> than actually learning more about these tears and shit? At, le at least I've already done my one over, so I'm free to just sprint around like a maniac here. I'm guessing we're we're gonna have a uh, a tear sort of front and center in the bank, maybe. Lady, Fucking the what the fuck? Like, no! just... Are these crow guys? Oh, Jesus Christ. There you go. No crows from you, motherfuckers. Jesus. Why have they got coffins on their back? What the fuck is going on here? We've got weird uh, Statue of Liberty people. I'm sure this pile of bodies wasn't here last time. Hey. Sorry, Bucker. Sorry, just keep burning while I'm lo keep looting. Right, okay. 
Oh, that's uh, cl clearly Birdmen don't want me. At <laughs> Dudes, I mean, can you see why I wanted to use this revolver for the entire game? Bruh. What? R? What was that? Let's get out of here. Hang on, what was that? Uh, is there any actual point? This place have to do with my mother? The bank. You know, I did think it was weirdly, uh, like there was nothing in here earlier, didn't I? Whoa. Okay. We're starting to have, like, visions here. This ain't cool. This was locked before. What the fuck is going on? Let's press the... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, uh... Hmm, right. Another jump cut moment. I'm gonna go to the Lattes house instead and see if that's open now. It is, right, I'm glad I came back here. Okay, well... Let's octopus some motherfuckers. All of them. Come at me, bro! <laughs> Dude. I can't decide which gameplay I like more, this game or like the drill specialist gameplay from the second game. That was fantastic as well. Right, we found another like... I wonder if this is just one of the three tears, as with that bank. Well, let's go in. Lock here. Looks easy enough. Hmm. I tell you, that she, her mother's got massive feet. Is that, a, is that a Tesla coil right there? Ooh, I can hear like sizzling. That's Tesla coils. Or Teslas. Blood, blood, blood. Oh, is this, these are like Elizabeth's samples from the tower, I remember. There's, there's some connection between Latest Lady and Elizabeth specifically. And we shall learn what it is. Hmm, hang on, uh... Let's go upstairs, since downstairs is where we gotta go. Dude. I wonder if that Latest lady is actually evil and behind all of this. She just seemed a bit callous with her science and experimentation, I've got to say. Just like not giving a fuck. Alright, oh, okay. ooh, oh, I'm glad I checked under the bed. Here we go now. This is her lady in the flesh, three years ago. Comstock has sabotaged our contraption. Yet, we are not dead. A theory. We are scattered amongst the possibility space. But my brother and I are together, and so I am content. He is not. Oh. The business with the girl lies unresolved. But perhaps there is one who can finish it in our stead. Booker do it? Oh, right. Oh. Oh. Okay, first interesting point there. Her brother is disagreeing with her. My brother and I are together. And so I am content, but he is not. And then the business with the girl lies unresolved, but perhaps there is one who can finish it in our stead. Is that is that why they roped Bucker into any and all of this? I, I'm getting the feeling like Bucker is only involved in this colossal fucking mess. In the first place. And, and thus Comstock existed, perhaps even, because of uh, Ro Rosalind Latessa's... Shit. You, you feel me? Perfect. I've got a feeling she's behind all of this. Like, the existence of Comstock, the fact that Booker was ever anything to do with this town in the first place. I'm starting to think it was all Rosalind. Mm-hmm. And her brother isn't even happy with her. I'm telling you, there's something to my theory there. She's doing some weird shit. Hang 
hang on, here we go. This, this is some. This is some important. Anything to do with a lighthouse in Bioshock? Very, very important. <laughs> Immediately, you can tell. His office, one o eight Bowery, New York. Now we we heard something about New York being on fire. Memories of the fire in New York, and I'm guessing that's Booker's office that we've seen in a few flashbacks. Were those the dudes knocking on the door, saying, uh, bring back the girl and wipe away the debt, that whole shit? That's that office. Only one obstacle. I think Booker might have actually been innocent before all this shit, you know? I wonder if they sent the, um, people knocking to his office door, dragged him through a wormhole or something, and just basically shit on all of his future plans. Dude, this is some serious- this is like some Frankenstein level shit right here. I can imagine this scene being in Van Helsing. <laughs> Just fucking creepy. I would love to know if this is real mathematics or if this is just pure bullshit, made up crap. Another one. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I, I've got to listen to all of these. I'm sorry if this is boring to you guys. This is ages ago. seems to have been made sterile by simple exposure to our contraption. Oh. A theory. Just as sexual reproduction can de-emphasize the traits of each parent, so goes the effect of multiple realities on our own. Your traits dissipate until they become unrecognizable or cease to exist. So Comstock's balls ain't working. Oh, well, hey, just spend enough time against uh, around some sort of radioactive lightning fucking Tesla shit. I can see your balls stopping working quite easily. Now let's eat some cheese and spread. And that was 1893. That was fucking decades before, uh... The, the tape upstairs was 1909. That was like 16 years later than that tape we just heard then. So, so clearly, Ro Rosalind Latesse has been doing this shit for years, decades of research and shit. Right, let's learn more. What's the crack? I assure you, madam, my sexual interest in your dear prophet is non-existent. And Madame Lutet... She sounds evil, even. The man is quite sterile. That's a lie. Come here, you little bastard! I want her out of my house! That's a like... They were my parents. Then what were you to them? The child that they decided to imprison. How can I ever forgive that? It's a shame there's no subtitles I can reread on, like, I don't think the tear. The real Lady Comstock. I think she's. I think she's a combination of herself and my feelings towards her. What? Do you what? I'm just so angry. At her and, and at my father. I think she's her, but she's also partly me. I'm not even sure I understand it myself. That makes two of us go. I've got to say, Lates sounded slightly evil there. That sounded like she she was imprisoning Hello Tape. That sounded like she was imprisoning um, Lady Comstock against her will. And then Lady Comstock said something about her bastard, Rosalind Lates's bastard, or was she just referencing Comstock's bastard? Because she, she was not mentioning her own bastard, Lady, Lady Comstock, so, yeah. Booker. So, we just learned that Le Elizabeth isn't her daughter. But I was getting feelings like she is Latessa's daughter or something weird. Oh, this is going to be fucking intriguing. What the fuck? Lady Comstock seems to believe the child is a result of some errant act of carnality between myself and her beloved prophet. I told the poor woman the truth. But the child was a product of our little contraption, but I think she found that less believable than her delusion. 
She, she, do you see what? Do you see why I'm getting some slightly evil vibes? Maybe not evil, but sort of like a uh, stereotypical Frankenstein-like scientist who kind of doesn't really have any morals at the same time. So not an e not an evil person, but she doesn't give a fuck at the same time. Strongly neutral, I would say. So right, okay, so that explains the tear. She thinks that it is, she thinks that it's Latessa's daughter. That's why she said her bastard, but it wasn't. She's just a scientist, and I'm guessing they straight up got the. I said earlier in this playthrough, like some distant f memory or flash of inspiration or something that Elizabeth might be Booker's daughter. Now I'm starting to think when she says it's a product of our little contraption, the tears. Does that mean El Elizabeth? the baby was literally brought through a tear from somewhere else. Maybe Booker's office? Wasn't one of the flashbacks in Booker's office? Wasn't there a, a child's cradle thing in there? I think I might be on the money here. Is Elizabeth Anna? And Booker doesn't even know it yet. Oh, this is interesting. Mm. I've got a feeling I'm right here. Hmm. Very cool. But Booker doesn't know that yet, and Elizabeth doesn't know that yet, if I'm right. Okay. Still no cipher. <laughs> right, I've been going an hour 40 ish minutes, uh, maybe a little longer. Let's go. Now, we're leaving the area, by the way, um, for, the, for the third and final tear. And that's usually a sign that your ciphers and your codes and your optional shit is sort of done with. So I might do a I might do my massive famous once over now. Um, and I need to visit the bathroom anyway, so I might just stop the recording, restart, and then do a big old once over, um, looking for that cipher or just anything that I've missed. Chocos. Sweet milk chocolate with toasted almonds. I mean... Oh. How the fuck... I can do that. How the fuck did I miss a safe? It was right here. It's just... It's just money. I'm still trying to find the cipher, but still. Um, I thought I would have seen that. Okay. Let's turn the water off finally. <laughs> After 70 years. And uh, continue trying to find this G darn cipher that I cannot find. I've been looking everywhere for it. Maybe it is in the, uh, in the bank where I'm supposed to go. I'll keep searching just a little longer. Right, we are back to where we should be, the uh, the bank. I've, I've looked absolutely everywhere. All I could find was a tasty-looking chocolate bar with almonds. But no cipher, no code. So let's just go to the next area and pray that I haven't missed it. <laughs> let's do this. I, I mean, pff, this game has points of no return, so I might well have missed it, though. But dude, I looked at every single inch of the town. In fact, can we go back? Oh, we can't. Ooh. In fact, as the... Uh... Oh no, I've still got it. I thought the mission might literally disappear. Oh, this looks like a big old battle arena. Oh, speaking of... Birds! I'll have one of you. And then let's octopus the rest. Wee! I've got just the weapon for these guys. Well, multiple. I need another friend. Let's bird more and then a stunner. Ow, you little bastard! Oh god, I feel- I almost- almost feel evil, what with the screaming. Oops, I missed. 
almost feel evil. <laughs> Woo! Right. Evil D done for the day. We've got a big old green light. Oh. Hmm, okay. Clearly we're going to have to go in there in a second. Oh shit, man. Here we go. Just what the doctor ordered. What's that? 50% of everything people earn here goes right to Comstock as a tithe. I got to get me a job in the profit business. 50%. I feel like I should know what the word tithe means. I've heard of it before. Is that just a tax, basically? Is that basic? Is this entire town basically one gigantic protection racket or whatever they call it? Just, just give us fifty percent, and I won't burn your shit down, imprison you, and torture you, and kill your family, and send them off the edge of the city. <laughs> what an evil bastard! Okay, I've got how many picks? 26 Can you picks. Open this, Elizabeth? Sure thing. I am kicking lock pick ass in this section of the game. Well Thank you. Dude, I've got nearly 4,000. Right, any uh, lock picks? <laughs> mm. I might have to Google tithe after I'm done recording this episode. I'm assuming it's just a, a tax, basically. An evil fucking, like, cost of doing business type of tax. Mm -hmm. Right, we're going towards the big old vault door. But first, I've got another room full of loot. Hang on, what was over back here again? She saw something then, but, uh... Bear with me. Oh, we got two green doors. I'm guessing, uh... Eh, I'm guessing you can have a big old patriot walk out of both of these doors. We've uh, we got a hook for some reason. See, what... It, is the point of these, a lot of these, not to get to somewhere, but to, like, skyline slam people on the floor. Is it just giving you another way of attacking people, basically? Oh, shit, man. Here's some cash. As if I need it. Fuck. I'm rich, boy. Um... Lockpicks, that's what that's what I was after. Cause I clearly need like 30 lockpicks. I wonder if there's an achievement for getting every lockpick in the game. Can you imagine? That'd be a hell of an achievement. Right, we're good to go. I've got the loot looting out of my system. Let's do this. Steps, to go down. Oh, right, okay. That's a big fucking vault, ain't it? Christ. Let's go in the optional door that's open, hey? Bank of the Prophet. I want to see a giant mountain of gold, like, in Smaug's lair. Three lockpicks. You know, I was joking that uh, I was joking about the number thirty, but I'm literally one short of thirty lockpicks. I think I might be over looting this game. <laughs> oh, like I, I am literally a hoarder, and I love it. What is going on here? What the fuck happened here, man? Gear is what's going on here, and three more lockpicks. Fuck. Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, I do believe we've hit the cap. I was on 29, that was a bag of three, but it only went up to 30, not 32. Right, so there's a cap of 30. I've hit the fucking cap. 
Skyline accuracy. Weapon accuracy on skylines. Ah, I'm good without that. T to be honest, my accuracy has been pretty fucking solid this entire game. Helped by the fact that I've slowed down my mouse sensitivity and I'm using a mouse, not a... Uh, not a controller. So I can be pinpoint accurate. Ooh, well... Fucking hell, oh my god. Some guy sh stabbed him in the back with some sort of electricity. Now that's a, that is environmental storytelling. Along with that lady who had a knife in her back playing with the tarot cards. That's great. <laughs> you know, I, I maintain. This game is just as environmental storytelling-esque as the first two games. This, you don't get this level of storytelling anymore. This is just great. Like, I'm sorry, you're wondering what the fuck happened to this guy. <laughs> Oh god, and this guy, fucking hell, this guy got lined up and executed against this wall. Alright, let's see. Type three letters. Oh, he's here. To spell the voice. Three letters. V O X. Box. Try the typewriter. You know, I kind of I kinda of wish she didn't have the answer then, you had to work it out. Because Vox is Latin for voice, and I know that, so I would have figured that out eventually. That's cool. I like it. There's more lockpicks there, by the way. <laughs> cool. Uh, right, okay. If I can get three more by the end of the game, I'll be maxed. Are these locked? That's a bag of three, and that's a pack of two lockpicks. Am I unable to click on them because I'm full? Need money? Here you go. Why do they have to cap them? It's like the super awkward $500 cap in the first game. Like, it's very arbitrary and a pain in the ass. It actually, it offends me deeply because it goes directly against the whole hoarder mentality and I like to be thorough and loot everything. It goes against all that shit. Oh. Okay, what's this? That's Lady Comstock. What's she got to say? I know the Prophet is a liar, but he cannot be. I know the Prophet is a murderer, but he cannot be. What? For if the future lies only in the imagination of God, why would he reveal it to such a monster? You, she's asking all the right fucking perfect questions. That's all I'm going to say on the whole religio profity th situation. She's asking all the right There's questions. Over there. Don't need it. You don't even understand my levels of looting, Elizabeth. I'm fucking on top of this shit. Okay, right. Cipher complete. I feel much safer now. Going to this final tear. What the fuck are we going to learn here? I'll get to this tear and then we'll... Uh, I've got to call an episode I've been going for ages. What's up here? Oh, this is the other side of the right. Okay, I get you. That's the main hall through there. Mmm. This is going to be a long episode. I apologize, guys. But the, the length of... T what the fuck was that? The length of time between episodes doesn't change, so I guess the longer the episode, the more content you have until the next one drops, I guess. I'm going, I'm going every direction here, that's the door through there, All right. Okay. Was that just a regular bird, man? Was it a ghost? It was a ghost, wasn't it? Bank, uh, bank so you solutions. I think it's just a bird man, isn't it? Bank solutions. Who splits a word up like that? <laughs> bank solutions safe identification co. 
Okay, that's a that's, that is a tough door. Someone's here. Someone is here. You're about to die. Um, can I possess the birdmen and have them kill themselves? Hmm. Kill them all! Oh, um, hang on. Where's the birdman? I want to try possessing him. Sniper over there! I'll slaughter you! I'll slaughter you! I'll slaughter you and your friends, boy. Did the bird guy just happen to die? I haven't tried possessing one of those yet. I want to see if it actually kills him. Fucking hell, the developers of these games went ham on the amount of looting you can do, didn't they? Christ! I appreciate it, but I don't think a lot of my audience does me looting every single inch of everywhere. More lockpicks. Who needs them? I wonder if I've straight up missed some like locks and doors and things. I know not every player is as patient and crazy as I am, so I'm guessing there's clearly a surplus of lockpick, uh, lockpicks available. So you don't have to do what I do and loot everything. It looks like half of these guys were executed trying to get all their money and run away. I feel sorry for, for them if they didn't remind me of that priest guy from Robin Hood, um, Prince of Thieves. That old, like, 80s movie or whatever it was, 70s movie. That priest guy trying to run away with his sack of coins. <laughs> and then the, the friar tuck guy pushes him out the window and kills him. Oh, best moment of that movie. You'll need plenty of gold where you're going. Right, anyway. Let's keep following the bird man. God, there's some serious shit's about to go down here. So, let's mentally prepare myself by looting everything. Here's some cash. I don't even need it. Hmm. I'm not even looking anymore. Ooh. Uh, piece of gear bathed in blood. New pants. Spectral sidekick. Uh, ghostly. I've already got that. I think I might have every bit of loot in the game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting duplicate gear. That's footsteps, isn't it? Okay, right. I get... Is that a Birdman or is that actually Lady Comstock? Ghosty woman. That I've been following. Gotta, uh... Gotta check the vicinity for, for safety reasons. Not for loot reasons, I've got to do a perimeter check. Ba -da -da -da. Ba -da -da. I know you're there. Oh, you can. Or does it just make him teleport? I guess you can't. They're, they're too strong an enemy to possess, I guess. Okay. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this this is why I'm doing a perimeter check. This won't take long at all. A double whammy, a safe and a tape. Perimeter check. There you go. Yielded results. Thank you. What's this? Another lady Comstock. Lotus says the bastard is a creation not of her womb, but of some unholy science I do not know which is true sounds like Frankenstein the child is no more divine than I what says that for my husband's prophecy he begs my silence but I can only offer him forgiveness but with repentance need come truth did he kill his wife I can suffer his lies no longer 
He begs my silence, but I can only, only offer him forgiveness. So she wasn't silent. Did Comstock kill his wife to stop her revealing the truth? Bruh. Uh, yeah, there's some strong... I, I talk a lot of shit, but there's, there are some strong parallels here with Frankenstein. Unholy science, the townsfolk not knowing or believing anything. Just... I, uh... I, I do love recognizing similarities with other media. Right, let's check out this tear. Cool. Right, let's do it. What are we gonna learn now? I'm not scared of you. Not remotely. This guy's tough as shit. He's dead. Don't surprise me like that. I'm trying to open tears here. And if I do this, this uh, Think. Sabotage. All their patents. All of them, Mr. Fink. Who's Mansfield? Now, why does the Prophet want these two killed? That's the Latesses he's the talking about. And Lady Comstock lies buried. Child. And why does he want me to do it? Because only you can make it seem an accident. So, clearly, Comstock threw other people through Fink. Killed the, the Latesses. This is getting like extra. This is like a murder mystery. <laughs> well, let's listen to this and then I might have to be forced to call it a, a day. The Archangel tells me that Columbia will only survive so long as my line sits the throne. Yet Lady Comstock produces no child. I have done what a man can do, yet there is no child. I've asked Latessa about the matter. But even she refuses to help. Your balls don't work, sir, because because of Latess, ironically. I guess his balls ain't working no more. So he had to use the tear technology. Either the machine, and I've just realized now that the Latess twins, or at least Rosalind Latess, can open tears with the machine, just how Elizabeth can open tears anywhere around the world. So it's not just like they were tinkering with the technology and then Elizabeth figured out she could do it. They were doing it in that machine. And it made him, his balls ain't no working no more. And then he wanted to steal a child? St Maybe he wanted to steal his own child? From, from a younger version of himself? Because we know this is Booker, in the, like a different future version of Booker. Maybe he thought, well, let me take my own child from a different tear or some shit. Sounds like something a madman would do, isn't it? Well, let's follow these fucking creep-ass footsteps. Let's break into the vault, eh? Ooh. Ooh. Uh, one quick second. I need to see when the last checkpoint was. That'll dictate how long I keep going. Oh, two minutes ago. Oh, shit. Uh, right. Um. You know what? This might be so interesting. I can't leave this till next time. I've got to see what's going on right here and right now. Boss fight round two. Yes, it is. I'm just going to go ham here. Is that it? Did I get- that was fast as shit, boy! That was- the first time round I was intentionally going slower to just take in the atmosphere and so on. I'm in a bit of a rush for this boss fight, did you see how fast I just destroyed her? <laughs> Fucking goodbye to your life! Fuck! Hang on, we've been here already, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, uh... Oh right, okay, the doors have- the side doors have opened up. Okay, well, we haven't got her hand yet, but it's telling us to go back to... Yeah, these are all in interconnected now, I see. I killed her, but I didn't grab her hand, so... I guess we'll just magically have her hand. Right, this is all looted in it. Let's go back. Did you pick up a hand, Elizabeth? Because I didn't. Um, a 
assuming this isn't going to trigger a massive cutscene sort of big story moment. I'll see if this checkpoints us and then we'll call it an episode there. So we've got a bunch of story to look forward to. Checkpoint. Let me just look outside the elevator, see what's here. Uh, right, okay. I've got to end. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. We're learning little by little that the Latessas have way more to do with this than I originally thought. I think they're behind everything, essentially. We've learned they were murdered in one timeline. Maybe this timeline, I think, quite possibly. Although they seem to be in every timeline, so it doesn't really matter. They seem to be everywhere. Like Latess said in one of the tapes, she's sort of trapped between all the possibilities, or whatever the fuck. So in one timeline, they were murdered by Comstock, essentially, through Fink. Um, and it sounds like... I think I was right earlier on this episode in saying, I think the only reason Buck was involved in anything, to do with anything in this game, is because of the Latest twins. I think they got, got him involved in the first place. I don't know, this is getting crazy, man. We've got ghost, fleshy, fleshy ghost dead people coming back to life, who might be some amalgamation of a person and a, Elizabeth's feelings. I guess we're learning due time. <laughs> like this video if you liked it. Like this video if you didn't like it and subscribe for similar content. All my links are in the description. Discord's the main place to be and I've got a Patreon if you want to go above and beyond to support my content. I'll catch you guys next time where who the fuck knows what's going to happen. <laughs> do, do you feel me? Who the fuck knows? <laughs> Liquid Blitz. Out.